Jeff Glor, we're going to begin tonight with something we rarely see. Two presidents, past and present, on the campaign trail going off on each other. Former President Barack Obama broke with tradition today by calling out President Trump by name and telling students at the University of Illinois democracy itself is at stake in the midterm elections. Nancy Cordes is there. They're undermining our alliances, cozying up to Russia. What happened to the Republican Party? The 44th Although president re-entered the political fray in dramatic fashion, Democrat accusing Congress. his successor of stoking racial division. We're supposed to stand up to discrimination. And we're sure as heck supposed to stand up clearly and unequivocally to Nazi sympathizers. How hard can that be, saying that Nazis are bad? With control of Congress at stake, President Obama argued the GOP has lost its way. It did not start with Donald Trump. He is a symptom, not the cause. He's just capitalizing on resentments that politicians have been fanning for years. It was a striking turnaround for a man who initially vowed to help President Trump. And who, in the mold of past presidents, has largely stayed silent, even as his successor slammed him. I inherited a mess. Obama didn't do anything. Today, Mr. Obama sought to settle some of those scores. Let's just remember uh, when this recovery started. Even bringing up that new op-ed by an anonymous top Trump official. They're not doing us a service by actively promoting 90% of the crazy stuff that's coming out of this White House and then saying, don't worry, we're preventing the other 10%. The current president pretended not to notice. I watched it, but I fell asleep. <laughs> I found he's very good. Very good for sleeping. <laughs> I think he was trying to take some credit. He was trying to take credit for this incredible thing that's happening to our country. This was just the first stop on what Obama aides promise will be a fall midterm blitz with visits already in the works to California, Ohio and Pennsylvania. Democrats have a shot at retaking the House this fall and Mr. Obama is still arguably their most effective messenger. But Jeff, Republicans warn that his presence on the campaign trail could fire up their supporters too. Okay, Nancy Cordes, thank you very much.